December is the most expensive time of the year, not only in Thailand, but all around the world. Christmas, New Year, holidays, celebrations. So how expensive or cheap is Bangkok? Let's find it together. Good day everyone, good day from Bangkok and welcome back again into another vlog from Live Love Thailand. So the festive season is here and today we are going to check the prices in Bangkok. Shopping, food, transportation, entertainment and much much more. And at the end of the vlog we're gonna check if Bangkok is a good place to spend your holidays. But first of all let's go and check the Thai bot rates today in Thailand. Today's rate is 34.47 per dollar. So if we are going to talk about the prices per baht, then you know how much dollar they make. Today's first stop will be inside Platinum Fashion Mall. We are going to start our today's vlog checking the shopping prices inside a closed mall and you will be surprised how cheap are the clothing prices here in Bangkok. You can see how busy it is wherever you go these days in Bangkok. Of course, as I said, we are now in festive season. Next week, we are going to celebrate Christmas and after that, New Year. Let me know who is coming to Thailand to celebrate Christmas and New Year. Now, let's go inside Platinum Fashion Mall. You can see how busy is the market from the main entrance, you can barely walk but hopefully we will check the items, make some shopping and of course give you an idea what can you buy from this market. As I said this is one of the biggest shopping malls in Bangkok to buy clothes. What about the prices? 450. 550. Alright, thank you. This one is the original one made in Korea. Korea industry direct. Korea. Mm -hmm. Korea. Mm -hmm. She says that they are original from Korea, 550 Thai baht per piece. If I buy more than one, she can make a price. But when you but when you try it, it's so light and you can feel it's a cheap brand. Totally copy. All the items here are local made, imported our copies no brands if you want my advice buy the local made items they are good quality don't buy the branded copy items they are fake and so cheap most of the people also come here for business not only for shopping so they buy a lot in bulk they take with them in their bags or they can ship it here you have everything 20 baht this is also in the second floor fashion accessories some stationery everything you can see here they are 20 baht so here if you buy one piece five percent six pieces thirty percent these are nice for example such things you cannot find it in platinum market good quality there is a total entire section I think in the fourth or fifth floor for kids so we're gonna check it here you have everything 50% if you are looking a little bit more variety more quality you can find but don't buy the things that are available at Platinum market because such things for example yeah go for it new arrival 750 Thai baht shorts are this thing's nice how much this one 690 baht all of them so this are 690 this is cool well for some special occasions, bulls, 
lots of beautiful things by the way but as you can see also mixed men and women here you have everything 100 Thai baht so you can find here also things 100 Thai baht no try just buy it if you buy XL for example it's 120 baht so guys keep fit don't get fat BKK Bangkok the quality of this t-shirts are not bad if you wash them they are cool so 100 Thai baht as you can see along the way there are lots of food choices in front of platinum fashion mall now let's talk about the food prices in Bangkok this is nice guys but let's check I want number one yes Number one. If you want to eat something nice here on fire, papaya salad, somtam, but take it number one because if you take three chilies and it will be really on fire and second one is chicken with rice common guy so 120 baht and of course something cold to drink 25 baht this is not the cheapest food court in Thailand in Bangkok terminal 21 is the cheapest one but here the portions I guess is a little bit bigger so let's enjoy our meal and of course continue our today's walk. Alright, that was Platinum Fashion Mall, a closed mall, a conditioned mall. Now we are at Pratunam Open Market. The choices are cheaper, but first of all, check if you can shop here or not, because I call it the maze. You enter from one side and you never know what soy you are going to end. As you see, it's crowded, busy, tuk-tuks, motorbikes, street food vendors, but the prices are cheaper. Let's check some of them. One of the things guys that you have to be very careful while you are shopping at this market is to pay a lot of attention because there are lots of tuk-tuks, taxis, motorbikes so be careful while you are shopping don't get distracted by the items and usually the prices at this market on average are around 100 so if you are looking for cheap items local made then the prices are from 50 to 100 Thai baht. You can see how busy is this place. This is at the back side of Pratunam Market. If you want to explore these hidden streets, then you have to turn right once you go out from that narrow street at the beginning of the Pratunam Market. So here the prices are so cheap as you can see one piece 120 baht, three pieces 300 Thai baht. Usually the prices of open markets are from 100 till 300 Thai baht. That's the budget. It's so cheap, lots of variety, 150 Thai baht, 200 Thai baht. The prices are fixed, no need to bargain at Pratunam open market. So what's the difference between Platinum Fashion Mall and Pratunam Open Market? Now the first thing of course is it's much more fun 
to make your shopping at Platinum Fashion Mall, air condition mall. Easy to walk, but when you are at Pratunam Open Market, definitely you saw it's not easy. It's crowded, it's hot, tuk tuks, taxis, motorbikes, street vendors, but the prices are cheaper. Now, what about the quality and the choices? In Platinum Fashion Mall, you can find items, better quality, fancy items. Of course, all of them are local made, but the prices are a little bit higher. But in Pratunam Market, usually the prices are cheaper. Of course, again, a local made, but quality wise, you can find better things in Platinum Fashion Mall. Now let's talk about a little bit transportation prices in Bangkok. As you see, traffic, noisy. If you don't know how to choose which way of transportation to use in Bangkok, then you are going to be in a big trouble. Let's talk about this point and of course, check the prices. Now my first advice to you, as you see, if you don't get stuck in the traffic and spend your holidays, on the roads then use the public transportation now of course the public transportation is not the cheapest way of transportation in bangkok but it's the fastest way and it's so secure what about the prices let us start from the public transportation if you want to use the bts sky train or the mrt the underground train usually the prices are from 30 to 40 thai baht per trip so it's not expensive and not cheap at the same time if you are going to use a lot per day now another choice are the taxis and the tuk-tuks my advice to you avoid taxis and tuk-tuks unless you don't have any other choice but concerning the prices usually taxis are from 100 to 200 thai baht per trip if you are using the meter always if you jump into a taxi ask the meter if they don't accept then don't take that taxi. Concerning tuk-tuks, always negotiate the price before you take the ride. Usually they are from 50 to 100 Thai baht. But if you don't negotiate the price, then you are going to pay a lot. 200, 300 Thai baht sometimes. And motorbike taxis, usually they are between 20 to 50 Thai baht per ride. If you want to take motorbike taxis, be careful because there are no rules of motorbike driving in Bangkok. All right, now let's go and check the daily shopping prices in Bangkok. There is a big sea next to us. Let's go and check the prices. Well, I consider most of them are cheap comparing to other countries. Some of them, of course, expensive because they are imported. But all in all, as a conclusion, you have lots of choices, local brands, international. So shopping in Bangkok is not expensive. celebrations are already started in Bangkok let's go inside and check the prices in a fancy mall last week as you saw we have made our Christmas shopping at Samping Market and the prices are much cheaper than here from Central World mm -hmm. and the quality is not too much different so that's the story we're gonna check some of the prices to give you an idea about the difference between the markets that we have covered Platinum Fashion Mall Pratunam Open Market of course here you can find original items let's check the prices
Of course, the prices are totally different, quality items and original ones. So it depends on what you are looking for, how much you are willing to pay and what items you like to buy. This is Bangkok, the choices are a lot, the prices are different between fancy malls and local cheap markets. Now if you are wondering about the sales in Bangkok, then no worries, the sales are always on. At the beginning of the year, at the end of the year, at the mid-year, there are always sales in Bangkok. So whenever you are coming to Bangkok, you are always going to find good deals. Let's talk about a little bit the hotel prices in Bangkok, especially now in the festive season. So in this area you have lots of choices. As you see, Bayoki Sky Tower, Amari, Novotel, Hotel, Berkeley Pratunam. Berkeley Pratunam has its own story. Let me tell you about that. This is the Berkeley Hotel in Pratunam. I have made a vlog about this hotel before two years. I've stayed here for seven nights. It was the sandbox and it was $30 per night, including breakfast. Now it's way much more expensive. So the price always depends on the season and the availability. Sometimes I upload a vlog about the hotel, I put the price and later people tell me it's much more expensive or cheaper. Guys, it depends on the season and the availability. Now it's time to make a conclusion and check and see if Bangkok is expensive or cheap. And of course, how much money you need in order to spend a beautiful vacation here in Bangkok. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and had an idea about the prices in Bangkok. Thank you for watching, stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.